Hello to all the students of the Superpower course. I'm Robinson Arevalo, a holistic therapist, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the seventh week of learning on our channel, Live Universe Mind. In this seventh session, we will dive into our personal relationship and inner growth. Effective communication, the importance of communication in personal relationship. Uh, we will also cover techniques for assertive and empathetic communication with exercises for active listening and clear expression of ideas and feelings. Before we start, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel give a like if you enjoy the content and participate in the comment section by sharing your thoughts and experiences. Your interaction is very valuable to all of us. Let's begin with effective communication, which is the key to personal relationships. Communication is the bridge that connects our mind and hearts with others. In our personal relationship, whether with friends, family, or colleagues, effective communication is fundamental for building strong bonds and mutual understanding. But how can we work on effective communication? It is the key to personal relationships. Effective communication is essential for establishing meaningful connection and strengthening relationship in all areas of our lives. Imagine communication as a bridge that links our mind and heart with others, allowing us to share thoughts, emotions, and experiences authentically and comprehensively. What is the importance we should give to personal relationships? It is the foundation upon which we build strong bonds and mutual understanding. It allows us to express our ideas, needs, and feelings in a way that others can understand and respond to appropriately. When we communicate with clearly and openly, we foster trust and respect in our relationships. In personal relationship, we enter the realm of building strong bonds. Effective communication nurture our relationship by creating space for empathy and emotional connection. When we communicate empathetically, we show genuine interest in understanding the perspective and emotions of others. This strengthens the ties between people and allow us to build deeper and more meaningful relationships. Achieving mutual understanding and conflict resolution effective communication facilitates mutual understanding by minimizing understandings and confusion. It allows us to share our concern and resolve conflict constructively. Should clear and assertive communication. We can address challenges and differences in a way that promotes personal and relational growth. We will have an impact on emotional well-being. Effective communication also possibly impact our emotional well-being. It gives us the opportunity to express our emotion and needs, contributing to greater authenticity and satisfaction in our relationships. Additionally, it allows us to feel hard and understood, strengthening our self-esteem and sense of belonging. Remember that communication is a skill that can be learned and developed with practice and dedication. By prioritizing conscience and respectful communication, we can transform our relationship and significantly improve our quality of life. Importance of communication in personal relationship. Communication plays a crucial role in our personal relationship, acting as the driving force 
behind connection and mutual understanding between individuals. Here, I will explain in detail why it's so essential to cultivate clear and open communication in our daily interaction. It promotes trust and understanding when we communicate clearly and openly. We create an environment of trust where people feel safe to express their thoughts and emotions. Effective communication allows us to share our ideas and need honestly, contributing to a greater understanding among those involved. This transparency strengthens the foundation of our relationship as it is based on authenticity and emotional openness. Expression of needs, emotion, and thought, effective communication enable us to articulate our needs, emotion, and thought in a way that is understandable to others. This is fundamental in personal relationships, as it allows us to meet our emotional needs and establish clear boundaries in interaction with others. By adequately expressing our emotion, we facilitate emotional connection and conflict resolution. Promoting of empathy, effective communication, foster empathy by allowing us to understand the experience and perspective of others. When we actively listen and communicate sensitively to the emotion of others, we show genuine interest in their feeling and experiences. This ability to put ourselves in another place strengthened empathy and help us build closer and more meaningful relationship, opening the door to more satisfying and enriching relationship in our daily lives. For this course, I have developed techniques to help us achieve assertive and empathetic communication. It is essential to lean to communicate assertively which will allow us to express our ideas and feeling respectfully and directly without aggression or submission. Empathy on the other hand enables us to understand and respond appropriately to the emotion and perspective of others. Let's explore this technique to develop this skill which you can incorporate to improve your ability to communicate effectively and respectfully. Practice active listening. Active listening is the foundation of empathetic communication. To practice it, focus on truly hearing what the other person is saying without interrupting or forming mental responses while they speak. Make eye contact, not your heart, and use gestures to show that you are paying attention. Try to understand the emotion behind the words and paraphrase what you heard to confirm you understand. Use I, statement instead of you when expressing your opinion or feeling, use a statement that start with I instead of you. For example, instead of saying, you always interrupt me, you can say, I feel frustrated when I am interrupted during a conversation. This form of communication avoids blaming the other person and focuses on your own feeling and experiences. Be clear and direct. Assertive communication involves expressing your thoughts and needs clearly and directly without aggression or ambiguity. Use affirmative and specific statement to convey your message effectively. For example, instead of saying, I don't care, you can say, actually, I have a different opinion on that matter. Practice mutual respect, assertive and empathetic communication is based on mutual respect for others. Acknowledge and value the opinion and emotion of others. Even if you do not agree with them, 
avoid interrupting or minimizing other experiences and show genuine interest in understanding their point of view. Learn to manage conflict constructively when disagreement or conflict arise, focus on resolving then constructively. Use assertive communication techniques such as the option fund where you propose different solution and remain open to compromise. Actively listen to the other person's concern and work together to find a solution that benefits both parties. Practice empathy. Empathy involves putting yourself in the other person, shows and understanding their emotion and perspective. To develop this skill, try to identify the emotion behind the words and show emotional understanding and so forth. Ask yourself how you will feel if you were in the other person's situation and use the understanding to respond empathetically. What exercise can we incorporate to maintain assertive communication and stay alert during interaction with others? Exercises for active listening and clear expression. Active listening involves paying full attention to what the other person is saying, showing genuine interest and understanding their message behind the words. On the other hand, clearly and directly expressing our ideas and feelings help us convey our thought effectively. Reflective listening practice, reflective listening involves repeating or paraphrasing what the other person has said to confirm your understanding and show genuine interest. Example, person A, I feel overwhelmed by the amount of work I have this week. Person B, I understand that you feel overwhelmed by your work role playing practice. Role playing with a partner to improve your listening and responding skill. One of you will take on the role and of speaker or the other will be the listener. The listener should demonstrate active listening by asking follow-up questions and reflecting the emotion and thought expressed by the speaker. No verbal listening exercise. Perform a no verbal listening exercise where you practice paying attention to the other person's no verbal cues such as eye contact, body language, and facial expression. Observe this sign to gain a deeper understanding of what the person is communicating beyond words. No judgmental listening practice. Make a conscious effort to listen without judgment during conversation. Avoid making assumption or interrupting with your own opinion. Instead, focus on understanding the other person's perspective before formulating a response. Summarizing technique after a conversation practice. Summarizing what the other person has said to verify your understanding and demonstrate that you have been listening attentively. Use phrases like, so what I understand is, or to summarize, you are saying that to clarify your perception. Clear and direct expression to improve clear expression. Practice direct and specific communication. Be aware of your emotion and needs and express that honestly and respectfully. Use affirmative statements and avoid ambiguous or passive language that may hinder the understanding of your messages. By regularly practice uh, these exercises, you can develop your active listening and clear expression skills, enabling to, you to establish deeper and more meaningful connection with others. Remember that communication is a skill that improves your constant practice and personal commitment. Start today to enhance your ability to listen and express yourself effectively. I hope you are ready to continue our learning journey towards more 
effective communication and stronger relationship. Before diving into the new lesson on assertive and empathetic communication, I want to invite you to reflect on what you've learned so far and commit to your personal development. Here are some motivating questions for reflections. How has learning about effective communication impact your personal relationships so far? What assertive communication techniques have you practiced and what has been their effect on your daily life? What aspect of active listening do you find most challenging and how do you plan to improve in this area? Which exercises for clear and direct expression have been most useful to you and why? Take this with to answer this question and reflect on your progress. Also, review the previous course to reinforce your knowledge and continue growing on this exciting journey toward personal development. I'm excited to see how you will apply this principle in your daily interaction and how you will continue to strengthen your communication skills. Let's move forward with enthusiasm and determination toward more effective communication a more meaningful relationship. The power of communication is in your hands. Go ahead and keep shining on your path to mastering your communicate superpowers. I encourage you to celebrate your individual and group achievement. Every step we take towards better communication brings us closer to personal fulfillment and more meaningful relationships. Additionally, it is essential to plan how we will maintain this growth in the future. Don't miss next week where we will explore the topic of celebration and reflection. We will talk about how to reflect on our progress and celebrate our achievements. I'm excited to continue this learning journey with all of you. Remember to join us for week eight, where we will continue exploring fascinating topics. See you soon. For more content, don't forget to join, subscribe, like, and comment below this video. You are always welcome on our channel, Live Universe Mind. Until the next session, course eight where we will reflect and celebrate everything we learn. Thank you. To the next time.